Welcome to tutorialsinhand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about how to write a Java program to find area of rectangle. So let's proceed to Eclipse. Now to calculate area of rectangle, we need two values that is length of a rectangle and breadth of the rectangle, right? So this is something which we will allow user to enter the values from the console. We will use that values to calculate area of a rectangle and then print that value. We have already taken the values from the user using scanner and we have already explained in previous video tutorials how to use a scanner to accept the user input. So you can visit that tutorial if no, you don't have idea about how this works so in this one we have used a scanner and then it will ask you to enter the length of a rectangle and will wait for you to enter the value and the value that you will enter would be stored in this variable length which is of data type double and then it will ask you to enter breadth of a rectangle and then it will wait for user to enter the value and that value would be stored in the variable breadth which is again of type double now you have already entered both the values right so what you can do is you can simply print the values so let's print it write sys o then press control tab you will get system dot out dot print ln press enter and you have got the print statement from here we will print the value of length and breadth type len and then press control tab you will get the suggestion for your variable and this is the variable length so it will print the length of the rectangle now let's print the breadth now again write bre bre -E -A and then control tab you will get the suggestion for breadth variable just accept it and this is where it will print the values that you will enter from the console now we have to use this value to calculate the area of rectangle so area of rectangle would also be in double because the values of the length and breadth is in double so the calculation would return a result that would also be in double so let's create a double variable to store area of rectangle name it area of rectangle always ensure that you are using a very genuine name variable so that people understand what exactly this variable is used for now the formula is length into breadth right so this is the formula that is used to calculate the area of a rectangle as we can see from here now this will calculate the area of a rectangle and would store it in this variable which is of type double and now this can be used for any purpose for now we are having our purpose to print the area right so again write Cisco control tab press enter and you will get the print ln now write area of rectangle as message and then we have to print this area of a rectangle you can simply copy this or you can simply type few letters like area a a r area a r and then press control tab you will automatically get the suggestion select it and then you are all ready to print the area of a rectangle now let's execute it now the first statement that would get printed is this one enter length of a rectangle it will ask you to enter length of a rectangle and would wait for you to enter this value and once you enter it will store it in this variable so let's enter the length of rectangle as 10 now the next statement that would get printed on the screen is this one enter the breadth of a rectangle and again it will wait for you to enter the value which it will store in the breadth variable so let's enter 20 this time and then once you press enter what will happen is it will close the scanner which we will not see on the screen because that would happen something in the background and it, it would not get printed or reflected on the screen but logically you should always close the scanner to prevent any kind of leakage and then it will print the length and breadth of a rectangle as you can see so once you press the enter it will first print length and breadth and then it will calculate the area of rectangle using that length and breadth and it will store here and then it is going to print this due to this print statement so press enter and see what happens so this is what we get length is 10.0 and breadth is 20.0 and area of a rectangle is 200 which will be in certain units of the length and breadth for example it may be centimeter millimeter or whatever it may be you can see that here there is no space between these two 
outputs which looks a bit awkward right so for that what you can do is you can have a gap here you can just simply press a tab and it will add a space so that there will be a space between length and breadth value and then with area of a rectangle again the value is looks like appended so we can give is equals to and then we can again execute this one once again with uh, different values so let's enter this time 30 as a length and 40 as a breadth so it will multiply it and print the value on the screen so now you see it has printed it very clearly there is a spelling mistake but it doesn't matter you can write anything in the text however i have corrected it now you are ready to write program to print a area of a rectangle any rectangle with any length and any breadth so you will be able to write it and then on the similar line you can use to print perimeter of a rectangle using the formula 2 into length plus breadth so this is something which i am not doing here i would expect you to go ahead and try to write the perimeter of a rectangle and print it over here on the screen so hope you have enjoyed this tutorial thanks for being with us till the end of the video please like and subscribe to help us motivate.